Hey guys, Owen here with Dirtworks Digital, giving you guys an inside look on the new Kona Ponzo ESD. Pink slips. She was just a mine. My ride. The Hanzo's been a bike in Kona's lineup for many years now, but the new extra slack design comes with a couple new features. The chromoly frame, 29 inch wheels, one by drive frame, and advanced aggressive geometry give this bike a little bit more party on the trails, putting it in that hardcore hardtail category. Let's take a look at some of the specs. So I've gotten a handful of rides on this bike already, and there's a couple things that I really, really like. I'm going to dive into number one here, and that's the chromoly frame. The Kona chromoly has a little bit of flex and vibration dampening to your ride, which is really important on a hardtail so you can soak up a little bit more impact. The geometry of the frame is also super important to me. This guy's got a 63 degree head tube angle and a 420 mm seat tube length on a size large, which is super nice because it allows you to slam the saddle as low as you want, but still put it up in a very effective climbing position. And the slack head tube angle allows you to plow through the trails. The second thing that I really like about this bike is that it comes with big wagon wheels. The 29 inch wheels allow you to ride over everything. They've got a bigger contact hatch so you get more grip on the ground and they're super maneuverable once you start to get the hang of them. There's literally nothing that this bike can't ride over and I've thrown this bike through a couple of things and it's handled it beautifully. I've been on 27 and a half inch wheels for a long time now so I was a little hesitant to try the larger wheel size. After getting a couple rides under my belt with this bike, there's no way I'm going to go back to the smaller wheels. The 29 was a really good choice that Kona made for this bike and it fits it perfectly. My third highlight about this bike has to be the Marzocchi Z1 fork. This guy's a 35mm stanchion fork with 150mm travel and it feels great on this bike. It's not too much and it's not too little, but just enough to get you to party. Finally, a couple other specs that make this bike a nice happy package are the four piston Dior brakes, they provide ample stopping power. The Dior 12 speed drivetrain with SLX derailleur provides super crisp smoothing and allows you to shift really well under load. The TransX Rad Dropper Post has been super reliable and feels super smooth when going up and down. This bike comes stock with a Maxxis Asagai and a Minion DHR, which is a perfect tire combination for the wet riding conditions on the North Shore. In conclusion, I've been super happy with the Kona Honda VSD. This bike climbs like a goat and performs the best when it's going downhill at speed. The Kona Hanzo ESD truly pushes the limits of what's capable and what's possible to do on a bike with very minimal travel. The hardcore hardtail category is alive and well with the Kona Hanzo ESD. 